Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a mechanics problem um, from Calda and it's problem number 24 and it's highlighted in orange which means it's a harder problem and it's a pretty simple setup here. You can probably see what's going on just from the picture and let's get into the problem now. Okay, problem number 24. A block with mass m lies on a, on a slippery horizontal surface. On top of it there is another block with mass small m, which in turn is attached to an identical block by a string. The string has been pulled across a pulley situated at the corner of the big block, and the second small block, block is hanging vertically. Initially, the system is at rest. Find the acceleration of the big block immediately after the system is released. You may neglect friction as well as masses of the, of the string and pulley. Okay, so, hmm. What we need to do here is kind of relate accelerations because we don't have that many things going on. And to get the right number of accelerations, you need to get a certain number of equations to be able to solve a system, right? And that's what the most what, that's what most of the work in this problem is going to be. So first, let's look at the acceleration of um actually let's look at the forces on this one on this block here. So we'll let the tension in the string be t. And then uh, we'll let the acceleration of this block be, let me just redraw the setup here. We'll let the acceleration of this be a sub 1, and then it goes across the pulley. And then we have it on a big block, mass m. We'll let the acceleration of this one be a sub 2. And for the last block, we'll let the acceleration be of course a sub 3 a sub 3 and this is we're, we're just going to guess these as the directions but it doesn't really matter so so if the tension in the string is t then since there's no friction here the force um we have t is equal to m a sub 1 by newton's second law and then over here we have, we're gonna have, since the tension is T up here as well, because the string is massless, well, it says neglect, for, neglect the mass, so it means it's massless, so the tension is gonna be uniform throughout, so it's gonna be a, MA sub three is going to be equal to MG minus T. And lastly, let's look at the forces on this block. The forces are going to be on what the support here is pushing into the block here and the amount that the um, pulley pushes onto the block is going to be exactly the same amount as the string pushes onto the pulley and what we can do here is balance forces on the string we know that we know the string is massless so the net force on the string has to be zero because if there was a if there was a net force on the string that was not zero and since the string is massless, you have the mass is close to zero and the acceleration will be infinity, which doesn't make sense. So, so we have to, on the, on the string here, there's, there's a force of tension. So, let me move over. So if we consider the string itself, there's going to be a force of tension on this side, T, and a force of tension on this side, T. And then there's going to be whatever the force, um, let's say N, from the pulley is. And so then just by, we can easily see by Pythagorean theorem, N is equal to T root 2. And then now going back to this diagram. at just this part here with the pulley the pulley is being pushed down by n so the so then it must also push exactly that amount onto this mass here onto the larger mass so that the net force is zero on the pulley as well so the force the horizontal so the vertical force that it pushes onto the mass is just going to cancel since the normal force on the ground is and they cancel whatever it is. So we just look, want to look for this component, which is, so the net force on the mass 
is n over root 2, which is just equal to t. So t is equal to m a sub, 1, a sub 2. So this gives you also m a sub 1 is equal to m a sub 2. And this isn't surprising because that's just conservation of momentum in the horizontal direction, right? So now we have um, four variables, tension and the three accelerations. So we just need one more equation. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to relate the acceleration a sub 1 and a sub 3. Because we can do this because the string is always going to be taut, which means as much as this distance here decreases, this distance has to increase to compensate that. So what's the, um, what, at what, what acceleration is this distance decreasing? We can consider the reference frame of the mass. So if we consider the reference frame of the mass, the mass is going to be still. I'm going to use this picture here. The mass is going to be still. And this will be moving at, this will be moving at this direction at a sub 1 plus a sub 3. So then switching back to our reference frame, sorry, plus a sub 2. Switching back to the reference frame, this mass has to go down to exactly compensate that. So acceleration of this mass here, a sub 3, is going to be equal to a sub 1 plus a sub 2. So lastly, a sub 3 is equal to a sub 1 plus a sub 2. So now we can just solve these, and this isn't difficult to solve, right? So, hmm. What do we ultimately want here? We want a sub 2, right? And so let's try to um, get a sub 2 out of this equation. And first we can combine these two. And that gives you a sub 2, I mean a sub 1, is equal to m over m a sub 2. And we can plug that in here. We have a sub 3 is equal to m over m plus 1 times a sub 2. And then a sub 3, we can get out of here. But we just need to um, get one more thing because we don't want a tension in there. So we can sub, we can take these two equations, right? We can take two of them. And then we have m a sub 3 equals mg minus t. And since t equals m a, over, m a sub 2, it's mg minus m a sub 2. So a sub 3 is equal to g minus m over little m a sub 2. So now we plug this into here and we have g minus m over little m a sub 2 is equal to m over m plus, well let's, let's put it in one fraction, times a sub 2. So g is equal to 2m over plus m over m a sub 2 and finally that gives us a sub 2 is equal to mg over 2m plus little m and that gives us our answer so let me just recap a little um, so setting up these first few equations was quite easy and probably the most tricky part was setting up this last equation um, the only reason I think I was able to think of doing that is because I've solved lots of problems like this and I have experience and normally one person, um, normally someone might think that this, the acceleration of this mass is going to be exactly equal to the acceleration of this mass and that would lead to a faulty answer because that's not the case. And this setup is also quite tricky to, for most people because we, we're not experienced with frictionless forces in everyday life we'd expect this mass to be still and these to just move. But because it doesn't do that, the system gets a little bit more complicated and it becomes a little bit more fun to analyze. And yeah, that's it for today. And thanks for watching.